Becoming a full-time YouTuber or content creator will not make you happy and is not the answer to all of your problems. It could improve your life, it could be cool, but it's not going to fix the issues you got going on. And how do I know this? It's because I used to believe that it would. I used to think that if I was a full-time content creator, I would be happy. And here's the deal. I know exactly how it feels to be a full-time content creator and I know exactly how it feels not to be. Am I a full-time content creator? Yes and no. Here's why. I work in education. I get summers off and in the summer, I approach content like a full-time creator would. I do it all the time. I wake up in the morning. I treat it like a job and I love it. I love making videos. I love, I love creating content, but I've realized something this summer that even if my channel were to blow up, it would not make me happy. It would only make me more of what I already am. And that's kind of like this theme that I've seen with successful creators. And I wanted to talk to you about that really quick. A lot of people look at YouTube in a very selfish way. What can YouTube and what can my job, actually, I would say even work, what can my job do for me? And I think that's the most unfulfilling way to work, to look at work. I feel like if you want to be satisfied in your work, and this is just me, you need to look at work as like, what can I do for the world, for the economy, for this place? How can I improve this place while I'm here? So if you're doing content, how can you improve YouTube? How can you become a creator that makes this a better place for people instead of becoming a creator that just sucks money out of people who think you're cute or whatever. Just look at some of the most popular YouTubers and their downfall. I think it's I think it comes from a place of selfishness. When we get so consumed with ourselves, we start to lose touch of reality. We start to think that we're more important than we really are or that we matter more than we really do. Here's the deal. Lately, I've had this breakthrough of how am I making your life better? See, you've chosen to watch this video. You've chosen to spend your time with me. What am I doing to add to your life? And I really hope that you take away from this video that when you go to work, try to benefit your boss as much as possible. Doing this is going to bring you deeper satisfaction in how you treat people around you. Doing this is also going to help you advance further in your career. And it's going to give you a sense of fulfillment, like I'm doing something good. Now, I don't know your specific situation. I don't. I don't know how horrible your job is. So before you attack me in the comments, I get it. Some of you need to find new jobs. I 100% agree with that. I guess what I'm saying is I don't know if it's a wise idea to just quit your job and pursue a YouTube channel if you have no subscribers and no views. Like that's not the first step. The first step is to start making videos alongside your job. Start making content alongside your job and maybe you'll fall in love with it. But you might also find that you hate making videos. You might also find that the wear and tear of the mean comments, the wear and tear of the constantly creating content, the constant grind of like, what's the next video idea? What's the next thing I do? That can be daunting. I've done YouTube for six years, six years, and I've only got 1500 subscribers. It's easy to watch people's channels and think I'll be like Mr. Beast, you know, I'll blow up or, or PewDiePie and I'll blow up. I'll just make videos of me talking and then people like me because I like me. And then I will wake up one day and you know, maybe my, my, my 10th video, I'll be super duper famous. And the thing is, most likely not going to happen because everyone else is doing that too. So I'm kind of rambling here. I'm rambling because this this thought came to my head and I just, I don't want you to think that a job is the answer to your mental health issues or to your problems. It's not. It could make your life better. Yeah, but it's not the answer to your problems. So if you are wanting to be a full-time content creator, just start making videos, push yourself to grow in one way or another every time. And eventually you'll get to a place where you're where I'm at, where I am, honestly, I'm not insecure about my content anymore. I'm happy where I am. I feel blessed to have the audience that I have. I feel blessed that my channel has grown so much in the last month. I've gotten, I think, almost 300 subscribers in the last month, and that's been awesome. So I wanted to thank you for that. If you're one of those subscribers, I'm excited to keep going. I want you to keep going if you're pursuing YouTube. Just know that YouTube is not the answer to all your problems, neither is content creation. Maybe counseling is. I don't know what the answer is. Jesus, maybe, is the answer to your problems. I don't know what you need. Anyways, I didn't. I don't want to come across preachy. This was just something that was on my heart that I wanted to share with you. I didn't want it to be an overly edited video. That's okay. Thank you for watching anyways. And as always, God bless. Take it easy.